हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ मांडवी स्टूडेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द सेमिनार ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ इंटेलिजेंट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द इंट्रोडक्शन द इंटेलिजेंट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम और आई टी एस हैव बिन डिफाइन एज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एडवांस सेंसर्स कंप्यूटर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटजीज It is an integrated system of people's road vehicle designed to significantly contribute to improve the road safety and security and comfort as well as environmental conservation through the realization of a smooth traffic by relieving the traffic congestions. It is also a system in which information and communication technologies are applied in the field of road transport infrastructure and traffic management and mobility management. it also include a broad range of wireless and wireline communication based information system so why we need its the interest in its come from the uh, problems caused by the traffic congestions as increasing motorization urbanization and a population growth population has increases the increases the traffic congestions reduces the efficiency of the road infrastructure increasing the uh, travel time air pollution etc so to reduce all these problems we are using iits also it uh, improves the road safety and security for all the users it is a proactive system because it detects the problems and issues before they occur and it is environmental friendly as it reduces the environmental impact of a transportation so what are the different type of intelligent transportation technologies um its may vary in technologies applied some of these are wireless communication computational technologies floating car data floating cellular data video vehicle detection and sensing technology and inductive loop detection method now first one is wireless communication system it offers the communication between vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to roadside base stations uh, applications such as uh, electronic fee collection and to communicate vehicle to vehicle wirelessly we are using wireless communication system the advances includes wimax sensor network wireless mesh mobile ip and smart antennas are used this system automatically counts the vehicle through a designated segment of a roadway and measure their speed wireless communication system is used in two ways first one is a short range communication for a communicating area less than 500 yards accomplished using IEEE 802.11 protocol which is a set of local area networks and a second one is a longer range communication Uh, for a communicating area more than 500 yards and a longer range communication system is a, a have been proposed using infrastructure network such as wimax gsm uh, that is a global system for mobile f- communications this figure shows that for a dedicated short range communication uh, for a communicating bit, uh, communication between the Uh, vehicle to vehicle in short range in intervehicular communication and devices that is a wifi or a bluetooth are used and for longer range communication system 3g or wimax advances are used which connects the vehicles uh, through the internet and next one is a floating car data and for floating cellular data in Tra- uh, traffic engineering and management floating car data is uh, uh, typically record the time or a date of the moving vehicle and speed data directly collected by the uh, moving vehicle itself at a fixed location by uh, stationary devices and observers in this the participating vehicle act itself uh, consequently as a moving sensor using onboard gps receiver or uh, cellular phones the advantage of this method is there is a no additional hardware on the road network is necessary triangulation method vehicle reidentification method gps based method smart uh, phone based rich monitoring method are the four method that have been used to obtain the raw data for this method first one is a triangulation method 
In this method, mobile phone are used as anonymous traffic props as a car moves. So does the signal of any mobile phone that are inside the vehicle. By measuring and analyzing network data using a triangulation and the data is converted into traffic flow information. Uh, in a metropolitan area, the distance between the antennas is shorter and in a theory, accuracy increases. The advantage of this method is that no infrastructure needed to be built along the road, only the mobile phone network is used. Now the next method is vehicle re-identification method. In this technology, a unique serial number of a devices inside the vehicle such as a Bluetooth or other devices is detected at one location and then re-identified further to the down road. By comparing the time at which device inside the vehicle is detected by a set of a sensor, time and speed of the vehicle can be calculated. Now the next one is GPS based method. As a number of a vehicle are equipped with in vehicle sat nav or a GPS satellite navigation system that have a, a two way communication with the traffic data provider and then the speed of the vehicle can be calculated using the position reading of these vehicles. Next method is a smartphone based rich monitoring method or system. As a smartphones having a various sensor that can be used to track traffic speed and density the accelerometer data from the smartphone used by uh, car driver is um, monitored to find out the traffic speed and quality of the road now this system is implemented in a bangalore india as a, as a part of a research experimental system narisal now the next one is vehicle video vehicle detection method in this in this method with the help of video cameras traffic flow measurement and automatic incident detection is done in this figure it is shows that a video camera that detects the um, entering and that detects the vehicle entering in the monitored zone and after that it transmit the encrypted data to the uh, camera remote sensor and then data is received by central service and decrypts the uh, and data is de decrypted and allow to operate allow operators to view the process data the next one is a sensing technology and inductive loop detection method so let's discuss about the inductive loop detection method in inductive loop detection method as is shown in a figure inductive loops that are a loop of electrical wire are placed in a road bed or buried in the road to detect the vehicle as they pass through the loops then the magnetic field counts the number of a vehicle passes over the loops then uh, data is transmitted through electrical meter to the system computer and then to the central server and the next one is radar and acoustic sensors these are also used to um, for use for detecting vehicle in a roadway and the radar are mounted on the side of the road to measure the traffic flow and for stopped or standing vehicle detecting for a detecting purpose um, in this radar in radar system uh, the pul radar pulses are transmitted and then a portion of energy is reflected or scattered from the vehicle or object and back towards the sensor this reflected energy is received and encrypted to count the traffic flows so let's discuss discuss how does an ITS work the first step is data collection data such as a traffic count speed and time location uh, of vehicle delays etc are collected by a sensor cameras GPS etc and after that data is tra data transmission is done rapid and real time uh, real time data transmission between the road and uh, traffic management center and after that um, data analysis is done like uh, ear rectification data cleaning data synthesis adaptive logical analysis etc and then data is retransmitted between the uh, traffic management center and to the and the traveler uh, 
and then after intelligent information obtained as a real time information like uh, travel time uh, speed delays accident on the roads change in routes uh, diversion work zone condition and these information are delivered by a wide range of electronic devices like variable message signs highway advisory radios internet sms etc so let's discuss what are the application of its first application is a collision warning system this system is also known as a forward warning system and this system monitored uh, vehicle speed and speed of the vehicle in front of it and the distance between the vehicle can be maintained so uh, it can uh, provide a warning to the driver if the if the vehicle gets too close to the other participating vehicle it is potentially helping to the avoid the crash crash radar cameras um, radar cameras gps sensor are used for this purpose second application is electronic fee collection at uh, at at present most of the toll roads are equipped with an electronic toll collection uh, like ez passes fast track system that detects the uh, process uh, to and toll electronically which reduces the congestions and delays the third one is emergency management system this system is a gra uh, greatly enhanced by a traffic control uh, centers that continually monitor the roadway conditions when the uh, when an any accidents occur uh, the nearest emergency service such as uh, location uh, a nearest emergency service a vehicle is located electronically and dispatched to the skid scenes and uh, then managers alert other other drivers to uh, throw the dynamic message signs and this is reduces the delays for any accident occur on the roads fourth one is automatic road enforcement as a traffic enforcement system consisting of a cameras and a vehicle monitoring devices it is used to detect the and identify the vehicle disobeying the speed limits and a fifth one is emergency vehicle notification system this system provide a advance warning to the motorist of a traffic jams accident and other emergency situations and the sixth and the last one is a variable speed limit uh, a variable speed limit system usually consists of a stationary detectors to estimate the traffic status and a variable message signs at a predefined location for the application of a new speed limits so let's discuss um, a status of its in india as a its is being used used across the country in india on ahmedabad multi, uh, mumbai ahmedabad mumbai highway and in chandigarh parwano on nh5 for electronic toll collection its is planned in in pune indore uh, its on a BR, brt corridors are implemented for the purpose of vehicle tracking and automatic fare collection in delhi it is used uh, in parking system as advanced parking system um, in hyderabad its is uh, implanted in three phases which consist of automatic traffic counter comes classifier cctvs variable message uh, messaging system traffic signals pedestrian signals flood flood sensors weather stations pollution sens uh, sensors etc b track bangalore is uh, which is initiated by a bangalore traffic police is improve the traffic regulations and also work to reduction in road accidents now let's go to the conclusion as we see that its provide a set of strategies for addressing the challenges and of assured safety and reducing congestions or also it changes the road user culture it includes a stronger label to uh, traffic regulation and enforcement uh, in a final analysis it can be concluded that its is the remedy of all of the problem if not all of them but since there are not many comprehensive fully developed its applications within uh, with traffic management center as, 
as a systematic approach is necessary for overcoming these challenges thank you